Hey, boys and girls. Ken Smith, KenSmithFishing.com. Uh, I've done a lot of instructional videos. That was Stella, by the way. Uh, now about 13, 14 months. Growing up, looking good. Skinny, hungry all the time. Thinks that 5, 5, 15 is a time to eat every morning. Right, Stella? Yeah. Anyway, nice, uh, nice towel hanging down right there. Uh, anyway, um, so I've done a lot of instructional videos, and, and by the way, the video we talked about with Albert is coming up uh, this weekend. We hope to get that filmed and get it up, probably be a couple of parter. I think you're really going to enjoy our special guest on that as well, uh, to give us a flavor of not just how things happen on Rayburn, but also how things happen on Toledo Bend. Got a great list of questions from you guys, so thanks for that. But I've done a lot of videos, uh, instructional and otherwise videos. This video is absolutely not one of those. This video is, um, uh, if you read my introduction on my website, kensmithfishing.com, where it says more about Ken or find out about Ken, what you'll see there is I grew up, or I started fishing like a lot of us start fishing. And that was sitting on a, on a five gallon bucket, two cane poles away from my cousin Wayne, uh, Wayne Francis, who lived in Arkadelphia, Arkansas. Uh, on a farm pond between Gurdon, Arkansas and Oklahoma, Arkansas. And the reason we were two cane poles apart was because my grandmother, my, my dad's mother, Gracie, was on a, uh, in a chair between us. Uh, and we would swing our baits to her and she'd put a new worm on there. And when we got a bite, we'd swing them over there. And uh, she'd take our brim or our catfish or our crappie or whatever bit. She'd pull them off and drop them in a bucket or throw them back in the pond according to whether we were going to eat them or not and uh, rebait us and quite often she'd spit a little snuff on that worm and we'd swing it back out there and we'd go back to fishing and that's that's where I grew to to uh, love fishing and uh, was right there and then fishing around Little Rock, Arkansas and Foosh Creek if any of y'all know where that is in Little Rock runs into the Arkansas River about eight or ten miles from where I fished but um, that's where I grew up fishing, and this weekend was my uh, my brother-in-law, uh, Eddie, or Charles, as those in Kilgore know him, and my sister Kathy Gary. Uh, it was her 40th wedding anniversary, so uh, we got to go to my niece, uh, Malia, and her husband Kevin's house. Uh, we're going to call this Lake X, <laughs> and uh, we got to just do some family fishing. Don't hate on us because we're live bait fishing. We were just having fun, uh, and I'm just going to give you a little bit of video here, but I had a great time, and uh, got to see her body, don't get to see them enough, and uh, thought you guys might enjoy a little bit of goofy brim fishing and uh, some beautiful scenery in East Texas, uh, not too terribly far outside of Kilgore, Texas. So here we go. Uh, we'll be back with, uh, we're continuing to post our map tips videos. We've got the overview and two broken down parts done so far, so three videos up. They're going to be in a series on my website, and we'll keep posting those up over the next few weeks. And we got good stuff coming up this weekend. We're going to do some uh, some deep fishing on Rayburn and, and give you guys some good tips. So, without any further ado, let's go to Pond X and uh, not great fishing, but great family time and great fun. And if, uh, it, what it did make me think is there's absolutely no reason when you're taking your kids fishing when they're little not to let them live bait fish because it's all about getting a bite. It's all about catching a fish and having fun. So, away we go. Stella, you ready? Stella's already back asleep on the floor over there. So I uh, hope you enjoy this. And if not, sorry, it's just fun stuff that we did. We'll talk to you all here in about a week. Thanks, guys. Hey, Ken Smith, KenSmithFishing.com. We're going grassroots. It's my sister and brother-in-law's 40th wedding anniversary. So check them out. They're down here. <laughs> no. Jackie's gonna be idea. all family. Look at that. That is a sexy, sexy look right there. Oh my gosh. You know, I usually fish for loose. Today I'm using the pistol grip with the Zepco. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the Omega 191. My brother in law, Ed, aka Chuck. And we don't know this guy. Hello. Show the man bun. Look at that man bun. That is sexy. How's the angling, boys? Nothing? Nothing yet. All right, I got no battery, but I'm going to start fishing. We'll see what we can come up with here. I got almost no battery, but Ed caught a lovely little crappie here. Oh, for my, They're all about the same size. From my buddies from Louisiana. It's a sockeye. I uh, 
I don't know how fast they grow. Mm -hmm. They're all about the same size. You know, I would think three or four years, there'd be some. Gonna be some giants in here. Yeah. As you can see, we are not eating our crappie this evening, but that may happen still. It was oh yeah, you were jamming here. the whole time. The fishing has just picked up. Josh just hammered one. A dandy. Oh, and saved the minna. Yeah. Nice. You just bit me. Choking it. God, they're pretty. Yep. Show the folks at home. Woo! -hoo! Very nice. Okay. You just stick it on there. All right. Let's see it. Well, how, what are you supposed to do? Just poke it through his belly. No, through his back. Yeah, through his back. Through his back. His head. Ooh. Just reach in there. They're, they're slippery. Oh, I changed my mind. No, go for it. Do it. Go for it. Get in there. No cussing. We're going to be on TV here. Oh, gosh. YouTube TV, oh. but TV. No. Ooh. Oh, he's slippery. Yeah, you got to grab him and hold on to him close. Come here. Back through here? Yeah, just uh, like right there. That's good enough. Just watch it on the back side because your hand's in there. Yeah, I know how to get it out of your hand too, though. Uh oh. Well, that's going on in the background. Daddy Eddie is catching a little bass. Oh, very nice. Yeah, look at that. All right, I'm gonna awesome. Catch one now. There's beer drinking. There's first time ever baiting. You name it. Here in East Texas, we're gonna call this Lake X, super secret lake. Area 51. Area 51 of bass fishing, right there. They will give me no warning when they just get a bite. Right. Through the bushes. We're opening oh, another, another one. Another Ooh. Is that the red Cajun line you're using there? That is yeah. nice. Would they lock Kevin out? I think so. No, he had a gun. He was like, shoot. He was shooting that thing. Oh, the salt gun. Yeah. If you ever wondered if maybe I was a redneck, this is my family. <laughs> <laughs> What's really, really funny is she married into it. <laughs> you got to love a girl who brings a glass of Chardonnay down to the. I to the... my way through it. <laughs> Uh oh, we got something going down here. Pull on him. You gotta set the hook. I did. You didn't. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in you. Uh oh, something's going down on my cork out there. God, what a beautiful evening. Oh! What in the world is that? Copy! Oh. Sokola. All right, all right. I wonder if this is the same Boy, he is skinny. Look how skinny that fish is. It's unbelievable, that poor little guy. Pretty skinny. He got to quit eating stuff with hooks in him. Still. Trying to save his minna. <laughs> well, I don't want to have to. Got it. Oh, I got it. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you don't. No, you don't. Ah. <laughs> I couldn't script this video better. <laughs> this thing is full of little crappie, isn't it? 
It's unreal. They're so thin, though. It's the same fish. It's Michael's fish. Oh no. Two minute penalty. Two minute penalty in the box. Woo. I'd like to thank my sponsor, Bob's Corks. Here, let her. God just dropped a mana out of the sky. Yeah. All right, I gotta check. Yeah, there's no, no mana there. Yeah, Thanks, buddy. I consider that an act of sabotage. Mentalist. All right. You know what? Mine was jumping around and all of a sudden it quit moving. I bet somebody just got mine too. Nope, he's still on there. Maybe not. It's gonna be going around the pond. I'm gonna kill a turtle. Oh, Did you get your hook? Yeah, she broke him off right there. It was a big turtle. Right Just walk down there and get it. Yeah. I gotta get me a place with a pond. 